Unstructured Supplementary Service Data or USSD. Content Outline Synopsis This service allows mobile banking transactions using basic feature mobile phone. There is no need to have mobile internet data facility for using USSD based mobile banking. It is envisioned to provide financial deepening and inclusion of underbanked society in the mainstream banking services. Raman, where is your son studying? I have sent him to study in a good college in Mumbai, sir. That's good to hear. But sir, I am facing one problem. Can you please help me? Sure. What is your problem? Sir, I want to transfer some money to my son in Mumbai. But I do not have a smartphone. And also, I do not even have an internet connection. Don't worry, Raman. Even without a smartphone and internet connection, you can transfer money to your son. Have you heard of USSD? Uh, no, sir. Can you please tell me about it? Yeah, sure. So, in this e-payment awareness series, we will discuss unstructured supplementary service data or USSD. Raman, you must be aware of mobile banking that has revolutionized the entire banking system and has brought the bank to our phones. So you must also be aware that we can now check the account balance, receive a mini statement and do a fund transfer using mobile banking. Right? Yes, sir. I know about it. However, you need to have access to a smartphone and internet to use the mobile banking services. All right. Now, a large part of the Indian population do not have access to both of these. That is right, sir. Just like me. <laughs> so, USSD is the solution for this population segment. Oh. Now, let me explain it to you a bit further. Sure, sir. See, a user can just dial star double nine hash from their mobile devices and enjoy the services of mobile banking without the internet connection or a smartphone. Oh. Yes. USSD codes connects directly to a bank server and provide access to your bank account and transaction execution. Mm -hmm. Now the criteria for entry is based on the mobile number you have registered with the bank. All right. Yeah. Therefore, all USSD transactions must happen through our registered mobile number only. Got it, sir. Got it. Now, the specific number, star double nine hash, is fixed to access banking services via USST. All right. This number works across all banks. Oh. Yes. For customers' convenience, USSD code is available in many languages. Currently, USSD is available in 12 languages. That's a big number, sir. Yes. And what are these languages? Uh, English. All right. Hindi. Yes. Tamil. Telugu. Malayalam. Kannada. Gujarati. Hmm. Marathi. Bengali. Punjabi. Assamese. And Odia. That's a lot of languages, sir. <laughs> <laughs> to be very precise, 12 languages. Wow. <laughs> now, the big question is, how to use USSD code for banking? Yes, sir. Can you tell me about it? Sure. Yeah. To begin with USSD banking, your mobile number has to be registered with the bank. All right. If your mobile number is already registered, then you can directly dial star double nine hash. That's great. Now, I'll explain the steps for USSD based banking. Sure, sir. The first step is dial star double nine hash from your registered mobile number. Okay. Step 2. Enter the three letter abbreviation of your bank's name or the first four letters of bank's IFSC or the first two digits of the bank's numeric code. Okay. Once you have done that, hit send or press the call button. Show sure, sir. Now step 3. The options for the available services will be displayed. Yeah. These options may vary from bank to bank, depending on the services that the concerned bank offers. Most banks provide these options. Sure, sir. I'll just note them down. So, 
the first option is account balance yes sir second mini statement all right third send money using mmid okay four send money using ifsc yeah five send money using aadhar number all right six show mmid okay seven change m pin yes and eight generate otp that's a lot of things we can do sir <laughs> <laughs> raman i hope now it is clear to you how ussd works yes sir it is so simple i will go to my bank today only to register my mobile number but uh, before that i want to know a few more things uh, can i please ask sure raman sir firstly uh, what is the limit of fund transfer using star 99 hash at present the upper limit on star 99 hash is rupees 5000 per transaction all right and sir are there any charges for star 99 hash service yes tsps charge the customer for using star 99 hash service all right please contact your telecom service provider to know the exact charges for using star 99 hash service sure, however sir. try that is telecom regulatory authority of india has set a maximum ceiling of 50 paisa per transaction for using the star 99 hash service all right sir got it raman i hope that all your doubts are cleared yes sir now everything is crystal clear if you want to know more details check the website of npci sure sir i'll do that So USSD will help in financial deepening and inclusion of underbanked society in the mainstream banking services. Yes sir it will definitely do that. <laughs> <laughs>